The following reaction is brought to you by Gregsaw. Reject Nation, I, I, I can't even attempt to hide my excitement right now. See, when I woke, it's John. What's up, Real Rejects? You know the deal. Greg's out of town. Here we go. I've been looking forward to this trailer all day long. I thought when I woke up this morning, this would be the first thing that I would cover before moving on to prepping a few things for Patreon, as well as a certain movie review, the name of which I cannot say. I thought this would be the first thing I'd be covering today. It's the last thing for YouTube I'll be covering today, but actually, uh, it's perfect. I'm, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy myself, because if you've caught us talking about the movies that have been pushed back in light of recent events, the most anticipated one for me, and I think at least toward the top of Greg's anticipated list, has been this movie, Spiral, uh, what is it called, the, from the Book of Saw. <laughs> I love the current time we live in because now everyone's really trying to find new ways of calling something a cinematic universe without calling it a cinematic universe. Anyway, this is Chris Rock's Saw joint along with Darren Bowsman, longtime Saw series director. I'm a big Saw fan, I'm a big horror fan, and I am really excited to see what this group comes up with. So let's check this trailer out! Oh yeah, and if you could like and subscribe and, and click the notification bell and all that stuff, very much appreciated. <laughs> Classic. Classic jigsaw. Hello, Detective Banks. <laughs> Do you know where your officers are? <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> jigsaw? Wait, I thought the jigsaw killer was dead. <laughs> he is. He's, he's never dead. <laughs> Uh. Find him. They have hours, not days. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the bus, I can bus! You can't do this alone. It is her. What's her name? She's on Riverdale right now. Personal. <laughs> when was the last time you saw your father? Oh, damn. Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was just an diversion to get us out of the precinct. Ooh. I need everyone on this case. <laughs> he could be anywhere. He could be anyone. We're gonna tear this city apart. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> the pig. Hey, Detective Banks. When was the last time you saw your father? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Oh man, I just I just have so many thoughts. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to keep this brief though. This looks like the ideal exploitation movie, if that makes sense. Because what you have here is something that certainly looks like it's doing its best to return Saw to the element that kind of gets overlooked, I feel like, when a lot of people think about Saw. You know, you think about the traps and the torture and the horror and the, you know, music video ghost trail freak out shots and stuff. But you don't think as much about the fact that, you know, especially at the roots and especially with like the first Saw, it is 
is also a police procedural movie, and most of the movies have something to do with either the police involved in the investigation, no matter how tangentially across the force that gets, or, you know, other people in law enforcement. There's an element of that procedural genre at work here. And so what I appreciate about this is that it looks like it's certainly giving a lot more credence to the cop side of the story. This looks like it wants to be borrowing from a lot of, you know, police crime thrillers. I think the obvious pull is Seven, especially with, you know, the nature of a Saw movie anyway, already having kind of borrowed influence from Seven. But I like the way that they're transcribing that here, especially with all these Dutch angles, really fluid shots and stuff like that. They're giving the cinematography especially a more upscaled vibe and aesthetic, you know, not quite as grungy all of the time, if that makes sense. And yeah, the fact that you have Sam Jackson ostensibly as Chris Rock's dad in this, it's interesting because I can, I can feel it going either way. It's like, to a degree, it's a Saw movie, and we don't need this to be like the most serious freaking drama about these two cops, but at the same time, I appreciate that they're going there and that everyone seems that invested, you know? Because, like, there is a meme quality. You see Sam Jackson in a trap at the end, and, like, that's the number one celebrity you would probably want to see mouth off against Jigsaw. Shouts out also to the new Jigsaw tape voice. I thought that was pretty cool sounding, too, with this sort of techno-garbled, corroded filtration rather than just slowing it down, like, on the tapes. It sounds pretty eerie. And so, like, there is, yeah, an inherent meme quality to that. You see him in the trap at the end. In that moment, I was actually caught up in it and I was like oh damn you know like that actually looks kind of scary but also like you know he's gonna at least yell a little bit at whoever Jigsaw is this time. And I feel like they have to be aware of that in casting Samuel L. Jackson at all in a movie like this. But even so, I, I like that both he and Chris Rock and everybody involved appears to really be invested in this and seems to be giving it their all in terms of performances. I mean, the dialogue in this trailer is all pretty writ large just to kind of give you the beats. So I'm hoping that the script itself gives enough credence to these characters to, you know, not make it a character study necessarily, but like Dr. Gordon and Adam in the first movie, and even some of the auxiliary characters moving forward are memorable characters, and you want enough of that here. And I feel like, especially with the just amount of investment Chris Rock seems to have in this project and how, again, seriously he appears to be taking this, I I'm hoping that that combines with the pulp and schlock that we know and love and expect from Saw. And going to that end, this looks interesting to me because, again, and I can already hear the sort of like, keep your keep politics, politics out of my out of torture. Torture porn. Porn. But at the same time, I think it's an interesting take because, you know, you've got the pig puppet here and it seems like cops are specifically being targeted in this movie. It seems like the motivation of the killer in this story, whether it be a copycat or whether it be revealed that this is taking place like a hundred years ago and Jigsaw was already alive and he time traveled back there or whatever, whatever justification that ties this all into being a Saw movie. It looked really updated in that sense. It's like you have a puppet element, but it's a little more grounded to this take on the story and this setting. And even the Thing with the pig puppet. It's like pig masks and the, you know, pig figure has always been a part of Saw since the very beginning. So to take a motif that's already existed and then apply relevance to it, like that is actually something that's pretty clever to me about this. The Sam Jackson trap, I couldn't exactly tell what that was going to become, but it certainly looks like something a bit elaborate. But you also have like earlier on this guy strung up in the subway tunnel. And if anything can be said about this trailer, it seems like they are kind of keeping the the torture aspects closer to the vest, not leading with that, which I actually do appreciate because again, I think to rebrand slightly what they're doing with Saw and to establish that this is a new chapter and a new iteration of this moving forward and it's got a semi-different authorship, like that. Like that's the cool thing that I, I like that they're honing in on. This is a very specific story and it's interesting that it's, you know, starring like two black cops in a situation that seems like it's very much going to want to dissect the ills at work within the police system in general. Again, this looks like a, a solid exploitation movie to me if you go by the metric that you have all the exploitable elements that we love, you have actors who are willing to take that stuff seriously, and I think a lot of the time, you know, no matter how silly or wacky an exploitation movie can get, sometimes it seems very evident that they are at least trying to use all this madness as a means of discussing or touching upon a relevant topic, and more so than perhaps any other Saw movie, beyond the general moral and 
implications. This seems like it wants to actually be a bit more about something than your average Saw movie. Shouts out to Saw 6 though. Because Jigsaw is all about sort of dissecting people's motivations and decisions, it seems like a pretty natural pivot actually to like apply a lot of the themes and confrontations of Saw that usually go to an individual towards instead an organization or something like that. Maybe I'm reading way too far into this, but I like, I, I like the prospect, you know? It seems like a very natural pivot to keep Saw going in a way that is interesting, fresh, but that can also easily give you all, all the shit that you want. <laughs> and yeah, to that end, I like that they didn't go overboard with showing us every trap. I want to be surprised by some of these traps. It does look like it still has all the grit and menace that you want from a Saw movie, while at the same time showing some growth, to me at least, from uh, director Darren Lynn Bowsman, just because, again, it looks like they're taking the Saw aesthetic. And, and the Spirit Brothers did this to a degree with Jigsaw, but even more so here, making it even more cinematic, a bit more steady, but finding new ways of infusing that tension and motion that the visuals of Saw have always had. Not to mention some pretty cool looking lighting, which, you know, I think any Saw fan would, would tell you. It's kind of nice to see Saw not looking all brownish green. <laughs> I'm really excited for this still. I can see a way in which this could either end up cheesy or overly serious. I'm really hoping they meet somewhere in the middle. But either way, uh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm grinning at you and, and stuttering. I'm a happy Saw fan right now. So leave me your thoughts down below. Are you guys excited about this? What do you hope to see from this? And uh, yeah. We'll hit you on the next one. Much love. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for all the love in the comments today. And uh, I'll see you for whatever's next. Cheers.